Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us this morning. We're looking forward to a great week ahead of us. So now let's put ourselves in the presence of God and say our morning prayers together. Today is Monday, March 23rd, 2020. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, we give you this day our joys and sorrows, our work and play. Help us to live gently, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with you. Amen. Please pray for all the sick and all the special intentions we hold deep within our hearts. This week, we will look at the ways Jesus is present in our lives. Today's reading says Jesus is our advocate, that is, someone who supports and defends us. Even though we fail to be our best selves at times, Jesus will always stay with us and help us get back on track. Remember that we are called to be like Jesus in our actions. A reading from the first letter of John. This is the message we have heard from Jesus and proclaim to you, that God is light and in him, there is no darkness at all. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Now by this, we may be sure that we know him, if we obey his commandments, whoever says, I have come to know him, but does not obey his commandments, is a liar, and in such a person the truth does not exist. But whoever obeys his word, truly in this person the love of God has reached perfection. By this we may be sure that we are in him. The word of the Lord. O oh God, as we continue on our Lenten journey, we pray that we may be faithful to your commandments. By our fasting, prayer, and almsgiving, may we be bearers of Christ's light. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Prayer of St. Francis Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning, boys and girls, for morning prayers. It's always great to get together as a community. Even though it's at separate times, we're all together as our OLP community when we pray. We're looking forward to a great week. Remember, we miss you, we love you, and we're OLP strong. Be kind to each other and make good choices.